It is a medical treatment once reserved for the world's elite athletes. But now a clinic in Coquitlam is offering the treatment and is attracting clients from all over North America. As Peter Clemente reports, one Idaho family credits the clinic with saving their daughter's life. This is what a miracle looks like. This might not look like much to you, but if you knew what 20-year-old Stephanie Martin has been through, you'd say it's a miracle too. It makes me feel good all over. Uh, it's something that uh, we were told would never happen. She used to ride horses till one threw and trampled her. Do you think you'll ever ride a horse again? No. No. Finish my horses? No. I want to pet them or something. Mm -hmm. I want to take pictures. Yep. Stephanie was so brain injured the doctors didn't expect her to survive emergency surgery. Yeah. The doctor said she'd never talk again. Then the doctor said she'd be quadriplegic. Then the doctor said she'd never walk again. Now Stephanie has plans that don't include doctors. She has my red car. Uh -huh. Red. Yep. She's been coming here to the HOC Health Center in Coquitlam for the past two years from Sandpoint, Idaho for hyperbaric treatments. While locked inside this pressure chamber at increased atmospheric pressure, she breathes pure oxygen, which is supposed to make wounds and injuries heal faster. Does it hurt? No, no. It's much like being on an airplane. There's the pressurization, people yawn, and that's it. It's a very comfortable environment inside. Back to the treatments, um, after 120 of them, we she could talk. About three weeks ago, she started singing. She started singing to a video. After 140 of them, she could stand. And after 160 of them, she could do this. The hyperbarics has been phenomenal. It's, this has been good. I think it's brought her where she is today. Mom, Lori Martin, says it is a triumph. But not covered by insurance, it has been costly, both financially and emotionally. My other daughter comes with us, and uh, we've just all stayed a family and stayed close together and get Steffi well together. And she will get well. She's a fighter. Wild horses couldn't trample her, and one day she'll be free from the cage that saved her. Peter Clemente, CKVU News, Coquitlam.